Hello friends, I am Sarah from Einstein Insights and in this video I am going to show you how to create rainbow watercolor background for your hand lettering. This is a great way to add some rainbow colors to your hand lettering and I use brush pens as watercolor. You don't have to go out and buy watercolor, you probably already have some brush pens lying around. You will need watercolor paper and a paintbrush or water brush as well as some plastic bags, a glass plate, or a paint palette. I will link to what I use in the description below. So first you just scribble on a palette or a plastic bag or glass plate with any brush pen. It could even be a frayed brush pen. So this is a great way to use old frayed pens that still have ink. Right here I am using Karen markers, but I will compare a few different ones in a little bit. And this first technique I'm doing is just simple rainbow stripes. I'm using washi tape in between each stripe to get a really clean line. I will link to this washi tape that I use. I found a really great huge pack from Amazon for a good price and it has these little thin washi tapes which I really like for this kind of piece. And I'm using the Pentel water brush. I will link to that below as well. What I love about these rainbow backgrounds is that you can use any quote and lay it out with your background and it looks great and there are so many different varieties that you can do. So this next one I am using Karen markers again and then I'm using a larger washi tape to tape down the edges because I want a really clean edge and then I am going to get a really nice rainbow blend without getting any lines. And this can be a little bit tricky to get. And I have laid out all of the steps in my Skillshare class about rainbow backgrounds. I will link to that below and I'm going to talk about that in a little bit. But basically you wanna make sure that your paper and your colors stay wet. Otherwise you're gonna get really hard lines if it dries and you add some colors while it's dry. And maybe you are going for that look with the really hard lines, maybe something like clouds or something. I just love the nice smooth rainbow blend with black words on top. And I'll show you that again in this one, also using Karen markers again. You can tell I really like these ones for watercolor. I think the colors are so vibrant. Some brush pens that I've done this with, they look really faded when you add the water to it, but Karen markers stay very vibrant. I do have another video where I compared all of the brush pens that I have doing this technique to see which ones would be the most vibrant. So I'll share that with you below. Although this can work with any water-based brush marker, there are just some that are not as vibrant. Another one that I really like, these ones are the Kuratake Futabayori. I really, really like these ones. They turned out so vibrant. I was surprised because they're not even advertised to be used as watercolor, but it worked so well. And once again, I am doing black lettering on my rainbow ombre background because I just love the contrast. And that was a little real-time lettering just to show you that this video, <laughs> none of it is real-time. This is all sped up so that it can fit into just a short amount of time. But these do take longer than just 30 seconds or a minute. And in my Skillshare class, I talk you through it as I'm doing it. So you can see it actually takes more like 10 minutes per background. And this next one is a little thing that I started doing on Instagram. I called it stencils and you can look up that hashtag and basically I use a stencil of an animal and then I do this washi tape background and then any blend. So I'm showing you that it doesn't have to be a rainbow blend. You can choose any colors that you like and that you prefer. And then I do my animal and then I like to letter inside some kind of pun that goes along with the animal. So this one says, well, hello there. And I love the vibrant colors in the background and I don't even need watercolor. And this next one is really special because I was feeling a little burnt out 
and I didn't know what I was going to letter or create and so I just sat down at my desk and I planned this quote and I really like silhouettes and so I did this silhouette facing a rainbow with a really uplifting quote that I found from Eleanor Roosevelt. So I love that this is a really easy way to create a background that really stands out and makes your lettering pop but it's still really simple so you don't have to have anything too fancy but it's an easy way to add color to any quote. This quote from Eleanor Roosevelt says, you gain strength, courage, and confidence by every experience in which you really stop to look fear in the face. That can maybe even be applied to trying something new, like this rainbow background. I hope you try one of these and add your own personal touch to it. If you do and you share it on Instagram, I would love to see it. Tag me at Ensign Insights. This last one I used Crayola markers, which really surprised me how vibrant they are as watercolor. This is actually one of the projects I show you in my Skillshare class. When you take the class, you will leave with three specific projects you can easily create to add some color to your lettering. And I show you the details and techniques of how to get that smooth rainbow blend without having hard lines or turning everything brown. If you are new to Skillshare, you can use my link below to get two months free and you can take all of my classes plus any other classes. There are all types of classes on Skillshare on hand lettering, art, watercolor, even business, photography. I love and use Skillshare myself and I definitely recommend it. I also have a class on lettering videos if you wonder how you can record your videos. So definitely check that out. Lastly, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. Subscribe so you don't miss my next video and I will see you next time.